On a quiet night in the city of Los Angeles, strange glowing blue beams of light drop down from the sky and land in random areas. These anomalies awaken a nauseated Elaine and her husband, Jared, who are sleeping at a friend's apartment. Suddenly, upon seeing the bluish glow emanating from the windows, Jared is alerted of a friend disappearing from the living room. As he investigates, he accidentally stares at the strange light and becomes enthralled by it, as his eyes begin to turn white and veins start to grow around his face and neck. Fifteen hours before the incident, he and his Elaine are on a plane headed for Los Angeles International Airport. They are excitedly preparing to visit a wealthy friend, Terry, who is celebrating his birthday today. As they arrive, they are brought by a stretch limousine to a luxury apartment complex and led to the penthouse suite, where Terry and his wife, Candice, live, along with his assistant, Denise. They look impressed with his seemingly idyllic home, commenting about the beautiful view from up top. Terry invites the couple for a dip in the public pool. As they get drinks, Jared praises him for his accomplishments and being able to afford a lavish lifestyle. Shortly after they get in the pool to mingle with the ladies, a team of military helicopters flies above the area and heads to an undisclosed location. As the party continues through the night, Terry invites all his uptown socialite friends to the penthouse where they enjoy more alcoholic beverages and dance. He introduces a screenwriter friend, Ray, who has been eager to meet Jared with the impression that he and his wife have decided to live somewhere in the Los Angeles area. Appalled by the insinuation, Elaine excuses herself as Jared asks his friend for an explanation. It turns out Terry has been planning to convince him and Elaine to settle down somewhere close to where he lives so that he can work as a digital effects supervisor at his company. He knows this will be a huge adjustment, so Jared climbs back to the penthouse to confront his wife about the plan. To his surprise, Elaine reveals she is pregnant, having been late for some time with her menstrual cycle. As the couple briefly argues about their new predicament, Denise slips out of the bathroom, followed by a remorseful Terry, implying they secretly had sexual intercourse. Meanwhile, the celebration becomes out of control forcing the building manager, Oliver, to visit the penthouse and inform Candice about the noise complaints he has been receiving. Eventually, the party winds down. The suburban couple spends the night in the guest bedroom while Ray lies on the floor drunk across from Denise, who will sleep on the couch. Hours later, before dawn, the strange light beams come down and lure random people toward them. Ray is the first to awaken in the apartment and gets drawn by the blinding light upon opening the mechanical shutters. Denise witnesses in horror as he suddenly disappears, prompting her to scream for help. Jared leaves the room and is immediately hypnotized by the light. Before he can get any closer to the windowsill, Terry appears and jumps in front of him to save him. As the group attempts to revive him, Jared suffers a mild photo seizure, suppressing his ability to focus correctly. Once he gets his bearings, he stands and explains that the light was oddly trying to pull him away. The two friends carefully peek through the windows and see some people outside on the rooftop. Terry is adamant about investigating the situation, so he grabs a weapon and asks Jared to accompany him while the women stay behind and continue reaching out to emergency services. Along the hallway, the men bump into another tenant, Walt, who is also unnerved by the situation. Meanwhile, Denise switches between TV channels and finds the news programs devoid of people before the emergency broadcasting system is played. Candice and Elaine use their phones to call for help, with the latter leaving a voice message for her mom. Shortly afterward, the two friends reach the rooftop and accidentally get locked out. They proceed to the helipad, where they witness a massive lightning storm concealing enormous alien spaceships that are revealed to be the cause of the light beams. Jared uses a D-Seer camera to take a closer look at the destruction they are causing all over the city, absorbing everything in their path. As the ground starts to shake, numerous alien drones eject from the ships, forcing the pair to retreat and run for cover. They return to the door but find difficulty opening it as a Roman alien drone approaches their vicinity. After Terry desperately shoots the handle, Elaine anxiously opens the door to let them inside while also succumbing to the aliens blind and light. As she collapses, the two men carry her back into the penthouse and attempt to snap her out of the hypnotic gaze. Shortly after the burning sensation goes away, Elaine returns to normal, bewildered at how she and Jared managed to survive the enthralling enigma. Later, 
The group inspects the pictures Jared took on the rooftop and becomes increasingly concerned about their chances of survival. The couple admits they did not have a choice but to follow the light, which seems to cause them to feel strangely mesmerized by its brilliance. Visibly anxious, Terry decides to leave the group temporarily to ask Walt for help since the older tenant has a car they can use to escape the building. As he departs, Jared goes to the bedroom to inspect his strange bruise caused by his interaction with the light. Though he feels pain, he shrugs it off for Elaine not to worry about him. Minutes later, Terry knocks at the door of Walt's apartment but hears no one inside. With his gun drawn, he breaks the door and steps inside to search for the old man who has been cowering in fear with his dog inside his kitchen. As the two men discuss the situation, an alien drone appears outside the window and shines its light through the blinds to search for them. While they hide behind the counters, Terry tries to get a closer look and sees the anomaly stretch out its tentacles to sweep the area. Unfortunately, the dog gets startled by the sound of broken glass, making it jump out of Walt's arms and expose the old man to the aliens. As he gets taken away, Terry gets up to shoot the alien before hastily escaping. Meanwhile, Candice is scrolling through the pictures in the camera and discovers lewd photos of her husband and Denise at last night's party. Suddenly, Terry rushes inside and informs the group about the alien he saw snatch Walt with its long limbs. He urges them to leave the building, much to Elaine's protest, as she believes the beings are scattered all over the city. Soon as the group argues amongst themselves, the automatic blinds open, revealing the spaceships continuously searching for life forms. The alien drone appears, prompting the group to hide while it peeks through the windows. After it leaves, Terry closes the shutters and compels Elaine to agree with the escape plan to reach the docks outside the city limits since the aliens have not been seen above water. Jared ultimately convinces her as they pack food and water and head to the elevator with Terry, Candice, and Denise. At the basement garage, the group split up, with an irritated Candice forcing her husband to take Denise into Walt's car while she rides with the couple. As they convoy toward the exit, Jared sees another couple hastily packing their things in their car's trunk and offers them help, but they respectfully decline. Shortly afterward, Terry and Denise are the first to come out of the gate when their car gets stomped by the foot of an alien behemoth, killing the latter. The rest of the group watches in horror as Terry jumps out of the ruined vehicle to escape its grasp. Although Jared manages to grab him back to the garage, the behemoth uses its tentacles to pull him into its mouth, much to the shock of everyone. The group flees inside the vehicle and returns to the locked gate. But as it slowly opens, another alien drone appears and enthralls the other man to come closer until he gets taken. The wife rushes toward Jared's group as everyone heads to a locked side entrance. Just as Jared becomes compelled to move toward the blinding light, Oliver appears, crashing his vehicle onto the alien, which releases the man out of the husk. Unfortunately, the alien manages to control its tentacle and reach for the man's head to decapitate him and suck out his brain, much to the horror of everyone, including his wife. Oliver unlocks the side door, leading everyone to the pool area while the alien behemoth is rampaging near the building. The beast grabs the widowed lady and absorbs her while the group hastily retreats inside the opposite building complex. Oliver leads them to the emergency stairway and into his apartment where they try to cope with their losses. The manager peeks through his telescope to assess the situation outside while Jared breaks down over unsuccessfully rescuing Terry. The men proceed to barricade the door with a washing machine before discussing to wait until a rescue team shows up. A visibly shaken Candace smokes near Elaine, forcing her to reveal her pregnancy as she tearfully asks her to stop. As the women try to nap, Oliver and Jared stand guard from the windows as the night draws near. Later, the two men speculate on what the aliens want now that the city is deserted. Suddenly, loud sounds are heard in the distance, and Oliver sees some people retaliating against the aliens with weapons. Jared takes a quick peek at the action on the security feed before Elaine turns off the TV to avoid seeing the light beams. It is day two of the alien invasion. Elaine awakens to check with Jared, whose unusual scars have worsened, scattering in many parts of his body. Her husband admits that he feels a strange surge of power circulating in his body after encountering the aliens for the first time. Minutes slowly turn to hours as the group fails to see any sign of rescue. Jared inspects the strange scarring in the bathroom mirror, seeing it spread across his chest. Later, 
He becomes anxious and pleads with the group to escape to the marina, even though Oliver declares his plan is too risky since it is unknown where the aliens will go next. Suddenly, they hear planes flying in the sky. Jared turns the TV on to reveal numerous advanced aircraft belonging to the United States Air Force has launched a coordinated attack against the invading aliens. The group watches as they take out hundreds of alien drones. A notable stealth aircraft crashes onto another ship before launching a missile that shoots directly at the core of the alien mothership, making it explode into a blinding light. After the group shields their eyes, they rejoice upon seeing the vessel crashing down to the ground engulfed in flames. Unfortunately, as Jared peeks at the telescope, he discovers droves of alien drones have survived and flown out of the crashed ship, which is seen slowly repairing itself. While Oliver and Candice cover the windows, Jared becomes fed up and prepares to leave with Elaine, believing they are sitting ducks in the middle of another alien invasion. Suddenly, the sound of helicopters is heard above the building, prompting him to peek through the blinds and see soldiers inspecting the rooftops. Oliver angrily discourages him from leaving, having seen his alien scars, but Jared insists they need help from the military. The two men briefly squabble as the manager hits him in the face triggering and empowered Jared to choke the man in a blind rage. He snaps out of his trance-like state and convinces his wife he can control the alien power. The couple hastily escapes to the rooftop, leaving Oliver and Candice behind. Not long after, they reach the rooftop area and call out for help to the soldiers, who immediately point their guns at them, believing they are hostile. Meanwhile, Candice looks through the telescope and accidentally stares at the blinding light forcing her to succumb to the alien drone's grasp, much to Oliver's horror. Suddenly, one of the soldiers fires a rocket launcher and destroys the drone. Another helicopter appears to rescue the couple, only to get entangled by the alien behemoth's long tentacles. As the beast gets shot, it falls, forcing the helicopter to crash below. The surviving couple runs to the door, only to see another alien scout waiting inside. It grabs Elaine, prompting Jared to dismember its limb with an axe. The alien becomes enraged and chases the couple who hides in an area filled with large pipes. As Jared stands watch, it creeps behind him and strikes its tentacle on his leg, badly injuring him. Meanwhile, Oliver prepares to die as he switches on all the gas knobs to ignite the apartment. Unfortunately, his lighter fails to create a spark, causing him to hide from the alien behemoth which has begun to thrash his apartment. Simultaneously, Jared slowly succumbs to the alien's light as it grabs his head to suck out his brain. Fortunately, Elaine picks up the axe and chops off its brain. An explosion is seen, revealing that Oliver had ignited the lighter just before he gets taken by the behemoth. As Elaine turns her back, the alien scout pins her down and prepares to take her brain. Despite feeling dazed, Jared gets up, and attacks the creature with his newfound otherworldly strength, killing it with a brick. Elaine calms him down as he snaps out of his trance-like state. The couple climbs to the helipad, but the alien behemoth appears while getting shot at by an Air Force jet. Eventually, the plane takes damage and crashes onto the beast, killing it. Shortly after, a massive alien ship beams a light down on the couple, who accepts their fate, lifting them to the top until they are sucked inside. Over the next few hours, other major cities around the world become decimated, including London and New York. At the same time, Elaine awakens inside the alien ship atop a heap of human bodies. She becomes horrified to see numerous alien light tubes sucking brains into filtering machines, including Jared's brain. An alien probe grabs her, preparing to extract her brain but pauses when it senses a life form inside her belly. She is then transported to another chamber with other pregnant women who are forced to see their babies removed. Meanwhile, as some human brains are injected into empty husks to animate them, Jared's glowing red brain is inserted into an alien body that seems to give him control. He hastily reaches the chamber to keep Elaine away from the probes. Though initially scared, she slowly realizes that Jared is alive through the creature when it rubs her belly and head in the same way when he was human. The alien Jared turns around to retaliate against the awakened alien guards, saving Elaine and their newborn child. 